Welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. We're going to go ahead and install some new uh, doorknobs and deadbolt to the store today. This knob is starting to get a little bit worn from the outside, or worn down. It's getting a real hard turn from the outside. So we're going to go ahead and switch that out with a new handle style uh, doorknob here. And to do that, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this stuff off. Because this is an exterior door, I put a uh, blanket on the outside to keep as much heat in as possible. We're going to take off these four screws here. I already did these two. Um, and I noticed the innards are a little worn out, so we're just going to go ahead and take this off. Probably could leave this strike plate on, but I figured I'd put the new strike plates on instead. Then we're going to take these two bolts off and these two off, and that's going to release the doorknob and the deadbolt. As you can see, that's loosening up this back one as well. Takes the doorknob right off. Wow, guys, look. You can see, I don't know if you can see it in there, all the grindings that that doorknob was doing. So then we can just take the other side off. Oh, well, great. That just pulls out. Once you have that out, you can pull the main part out. And that's going to come off. That's all there is to the old knob. Now, the reason I did the bottom one first is because this piece of wood here is pretty well damaged. There you go. You can see that that's pretty damaged in there. Right there. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in. And the way we're going to fix this, we got some toothpicks and some wood glue. And open up the wood glue and grab a toothpick. going to dip the toothpick into the wood glue, slide it into the, in there, I'm going to break it, and do it again. We're going to do the same thing on the top. That one only needs two pieces, I think. Alright, so with the new piece, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and slide it in, making sure the round piece is towards the uh, wall. And then, we're just going to screw this in. And they give you two different size screws. I'm going to use the longer one. And the reason I'm using the longer screws is because of the fact that this one here has a few issues with the wood. So there we go. Now we got the new the new pin is in. 
And now we're going to put the new handle through. All you can do is just slide it through. Line it up, slide it in. So and slide the other one in. You're saying that you should do that one that goes for the outdoor, the one that has a long thing first? Yes. Alright, so now we got the handle on, we're just going to put these smaller screws in here. Slide them in. You'll be able to feel when they catch the inside. I'm not going to screw this one all the way down because I want to get the other one in too. On this one I have to move the handle out of the way. holding it out of the way for me. There we go. We yeah, tighten that I'm one up. I'm holding it on the other side because these are different too. And then I'm going to tighten this one up. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to test it? Yeah. Alright, so there we go. We got the new one. I'm going to shut Odie out. Okay. Alright, Odie. So now we're going to change the deadbolt. The deadbolt, you got to put it in the lock position. Undo these two screws. Pull the top and back off. And with that gone, you should be able to just pull this out. designed it's not going to fit in my old hole so I'm just going to have to pull it back out and put the old one back in so that's a bone he's just putting ah, it but that'll work side of the yellow one all right so we're going to go ahead and reattach this do you need this or are you good I'm good I just made sure everything was going to fit it. Just going to go ahead and attach this back in. Alright, now. This piece here is, des oops, is designed with a little lip here that doesn't fit my door without cutting. So I'm going to take the old piece I'm going to use that. And then we're just going to put this one. I'll just have to repaint this one later. I took the core out of the old one. I'm just going to slide that in the new one. And it still works out. So that's still good. And then we're just, buy and then we're just going to put it all back together. We're going to buy black paint. Yeah, we're going to buy black paint. Just slide this in. Oh, so you're doing the same. So you're keeping the backing, the different one, but the front's going to be the new one. Yeah. It will look weird, but it's fine. It looks better on the inside. Okay. And we're just going to put the screws in. Push the screws in. Wait, does Mommy know you're doing this? Nope. No, no. so it's going to be a surprise, so she's going to go for the middle. Alright, right, like, can you hand me the screwdriver that's up there? So now we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. Okay. 
All right, so we're just gonna tighten that down. And that's all there is to changing out locks. All right, the deadbolt works. So now, we're gonna install the strike plate. I think that's what's causing the problem and the strike plate's not there, so we're gonna go ahead and install the strike plate. No, the top one's working, so. Strike plate's just not in the right place. You see, that's working right there. So once I put the plate in, it'll work, but this plate needs a little more clearance here on the wood. I'm just going to create a little more room. It's going to allow me a little more room for the strike plate. And we're going to screw this in. That's latching now, so we're good. And then we have the deadbolt. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with Homesteading with the Heberts. If you like what we're doing, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that bell. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.